With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's begin with the question. And in this question, it says that a proton and an electron are moving with the same de Broglie wavelength. So we have to figure out which of the following option is going to be correct is or are going to be correct. So let's start with the first one. First, we write down the de Broglie wavelength problem. Then given in the question that the de Broglie wavelength for electron and proton is same, that means lambda e is equal to lambda p. And the formula is h upon mass of electron into velocity of electron. And this is equal to h upon mass of proton into velocity of proton. So from here we get Me into Ve and this is equal to Mp Vp. See this is equation 1. Now talking about uh, that is given in the first option it is in a magnetic field both particles describe circle of equal radius. So all we know that in the case of magnetic field when there is a charge is moving in a circular path in that case Mv square by r is equal to q v b so from here the radius comes out as m v by q b now if you talk about for electron so for electron the radius r e is equal to m e into v e upon q into b now charge in the proton and in the electron is same so that is why we written Q and if same magnetic field is applied then B is also going to be same. Similarly for proton the radius Rp is equal to Mp into Vp upon Q into B. Now when we compare this, this quantity are constant while in the first equation we already proved that MeVe is equal to MpVe. So with that we can say that R e is equal to R p. So the radius of uh, electron and proton that is covered in a circle in the axle of the magnetic field is same. So option 1 is correct. Now while we already proved that M e v e is equal to M p v p. So option 2 is already correct that the momentum is same in both the cases. Now talking about the third option it says that the speed of the proton and the electron are in the ratio of M e by M p. And where m is the mass of the electron and mp is the mass of the proton. So if we uh, vary this equation and uh, substitute some uh, values, that means uh, if we uh, exchange v and move towards the other side, so the equation that becomes here is, if you write down that equation again here, that is me ve and this is equal to mp vp. So if we replace this and we write down here is m e by m p and this is equal to v p by v e. So here we have the ratio of velocity of proton to the velocity of electron and it is equal to mass of the electron to the mass of the proton and that is what asks in the option 3 also that speed of the proton to the speed of the electron is equal to mass of the electron to the mass of the proton and same thing we have proved right here. So this is also going to be correct which means that option 3 is the right answer. Now talking about the kinetic energy that is asked in the fourth question. It says that the product of mass and the kinetic energy is same for both the particles. So let us start with the electron here. Now kinetic energy of electron, it will be 1 by 2 Me into Ve square. Now when we multiply the kinetic energy of electron with the mass of the electron and this will be equal to 1 by 2 it is Me Ve and its whole square. Similarly if you write down the kinetic energy of proton this will be 1 by 2 Mp into Vp and its whole square and the product of mass of proton to the kinetic energy of proton so this is also going to be equal to mp into vp and its whole square so as we can see the from the equation one 
MEVE is equal to MPVP. So their square is also going to be equal. So that means we can also say that the product of mass to the kinetic energy of electron is also equal to product of mass of proton to the kinetic energy of proton is equal. So with this we are confident to say that the last option is also correct one. So all the options are correct. This was about this question. Thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.